Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking an in-depth look at my Yakima Dr. Trey 2-bike, two 2-inch two platform hitch rack. So, let's get started. Installation is a breeze. Slide the tongue into the receiver. Line up this hole with that hole. Put the safety pin in. Spin this knob here. It helps to wiggle the rack a bit as you're doing it. So you can get it really tight. Like that. Then once it's tight, just take your Yakima key. Give it a half turn. Locked in place. First I'm going to go over the functionality of the rack. So once it's installed, you'll pull up on this handle here and it'll lay flat. You load the front tire of the bike in here, the rear tire in here, and you pull this over the front tire. Let me go grab a bike and I'll show you. Front tire in here, rear, get it through the strap, it sits like that, pull this over the top, snug it down. going anywhere. Now let me show you one of the best features, the locks. Super long. Get it through the front wheel, through the frame, and the rear wheel. Same key. Put that on. Give this a half a turn. So that's the road bike. Now, most of you know that I ride fat bikes. I'm gonna go grab a fat bike and put it on. So these are as big as any tire gets and it installs just as easily. And the lock works the same way, but I don't need to show you that. So this is how it looks all loaded up. As you can see, it sticks pretty far off the back of the car, but I also have the bike spread as far as possible. That is adjustable on this rack. All you've got to do is lift up here and here, and the bike rack will slide up and down these trays. I like keeping as far as possible. Minimize any scratches or contact between the bikes. So now we'll get into some of the pros and cons of this rack. Some of the pros are, it fits every size bike. Here you have the biggest tires you can get, 27 and a half, four and a half, and it goes in no problem. Fits in the tire tray, no extra wheel strap needed in the rear. This is also a large size frame and the length is no problem. It folds down, which is a nice plus. 
just like that. Gets kind of low to the ground, but still have clearance on a flat surface. The locks. I love the locks on this. This lock here is great. It also has one for the fat bike right there. And then this lock system down here, super simple to use. Another great feature, the real reason I bought the rack is because it only weighs 34 pounds. My Kuat, it was an amazing rack, but it weighed about 50, maybe 55, so this is so much lighter. Now I'm gonna discuss some of the cons of this rack. First of all, the size. It's gigantic, so it's hard to store. And it sticks off really far off the back of the car and when it's folded up, I have to fold down the rack each time or I won't be to get into the trunk. Another con is that this switch right here, or this uh, handle, is a little difficult to operate. So, it, once you get a technique, it's not so bad, but in the beginning I had a hard time with it. Um, another thing that bothers me a little bit about the rack, not that it's been a problem yet, but it has a lot of flex. I mean, it's only rated for a 35 pound bike and this truck Farley 5 here in a large is probably around 33 or 34 pounds, but just look how much it moves. I know it's light, but I wish it were a little sturdier. And the final thing that really bothers me the most is how difficult it can be to operate these hooks sometimes. You really gotta, you gotta push down so hard to unlock the bike. Now, that might be because there's some sand and stuff in here, it's all scratched up, but even this one, which I, I don't have a second bike on here often, this coating is, I don't know, it's all scratched up, it doesn't look so good already, and the rack's maybe six months old. To show you how steady it is while driving, I mean, nothing's gonna fall, but the bikes will move. I'm gonna mount the GoPro on the back of the car and we'll go for a ride around the block. Okay, here we go. First I'll go off the curb in front of my house, maybe like two inches high. We see how much the bikes wiggle. Here we go. Not too bad. I'll cruise around the block. It's a great rack for what it is. 
Uh, it's expensive, 600 bucks, but they're all expensive. Uh, does it hold the bike better than the Kuat? No, the bike wiggles more. Uh, the lock system is way better than the Kuat. It's much lighter than the Kuat. It's a little too big. I don't like that. But um, it's a great rack. I'd recommend it to anyone looking for a lightweight platform hitch rack. Thanks for watching.